of our, one of our icon his excellency the late Mwalimo Julius Nyerere my name is Annette Mtambanengwe and I'll be your director of ceremonies uh, for this event. Your Excellency's distinguished guests, this event will not be long and therefore I would like with your permission to get right into it. May I humbly now call upon His Excellency Mr. Elias Mahosi, Executive Secretary of SADC, to please deliver his welcoming remarks. Excuse me, thank you. Your Excellencies, may I humbly request that uh, we observe the protocols as have been set by the Director of the Ceremony. But just to recognize President Hakande Ichilema, the President of Zambia and Chairperson of uh, SADC, all your excellencies, heads of state and government. Uh, His Excellency Musafaki Muhammad, chairperson of the African Union Commission, and all distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor for and a privilege to stand in your midst here in front of the African Union Peace and Security Building to witness the historical unveiling of the statue in honor of His Excellency Mualimo Julius Kambaranje Nyerere one of the founding fathers of SADC and a true son of the African soil. Together with his colleagues, they established the Southern African uh, Development Community in 1980 to achieve economic development, peace and stability. Uh, they, to ensure that their legacy remains immortalized in the history of SADC, the summit approved a mechanism to honor the founders of SADC. The region has also institutionalized the Southern African Liberation Day on the 23rd March of every year, dedicated to honor our heroes for their tireless efforts and huge sacrifices in the liberation struggle. The history of Southern African liberation struggle is documented in the publication in all the Sarek languages. It was therefore not a surprise that the current leaders of Sarek made a deliberate decision to recognize in multiple ways the erstwhile leaders of uh, the region. Your Excellencies, this statue is a tribute in honor of His Excellency President Nyerere, a visionary and inspiration of the African Revolution. An advocate is indeed a freedom fighter, a tireless mediator and peace builder across Africa. Mualimu was a beacon of leadership against global imperialism, especially at a time when the infrastructure to fight against tyranny, tyranny through education, military, training, and diplomatic support was as scarce as freedom itself. The statue should be a reminder to the current and future generations of a leader who taught us to jealously guard our peace and security and fight for our freedoms in a selfless manner. The erection of this statue in front of this building is notable and commendable gesture to keep alive the memories of a state's first uh, statesman who firmly supported the liberation struggle and committed much of his modest resources, his country's modest resources, to help African freedom fighters to fight racial segregation in pursuit of independence. We salute him for dedicating his life to promoting political and economic integration in our continent. It is therefore not a coincidence, and is befitting in our view that the statue is erected at the Peace and uh, Security Building of the African Union Commission. In front of you is an imposing and impressive three meter sculpture that took considerable time to design, build, transport, and ultimately deliver here at the Commission. All this work was done in collaboration with the designers, President Nyerere's family, the government of the United Republic of Tanzania and the African Union Commission, for whom we are most grateful. We see this sculpture as a symbol of enduring unity and solidarity that defines Africa. I thank you for your attention. Muito obrigado, Messi Boko, Asante Sana. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Hello. Okay. 
Thank you, Your Excellency. Um, I now have the honor to call upon uh, His Excellency, Mr. Hakainde Ishilema, President of the Republic of Zambia and Chairperson of the SADC Organ on Politics, Defense and Security Corporation to deliver his statement. Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Director of the Ceremony today. Uh, let me just recognize um, the AU outgoing chair, AU incoming chair, Prime Minister of Ethiopia, and indeed uh, President Lorenzo. And may I also acknowledge the presence of uh, uh, President of the Republic of Tanzania, uh, our sister, uh, Madam Sulu Hassan, and uh, various uh, heads of state and government, you're all recognized. And uh, indeed, our executive secretary, Sadiq, who has just spoken, thank you for your good messages, uh, or message if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, in the interest of time, I want to express uh, my gratitude, our gratitude uh, for us as Sadiq and for me to, to make this short uh, speech or message at this, such an important occasion. Um, as this one is really uh, some something that is uh, uh, heartwarming to see what we are just about to do uh, this morning. We want to appreciate the work of many who initiated uh, the early ideas to erect this statue here uh, to remember one of our icons, founders of uh, SADC, um, and indeed together with his colleagues, the African Union, as it was called before we know, it was the organization of the African, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you like, as it were. Uh, but uh, all of those diligent, dedicated freedom fighters um, who worked with uh, President Nyerere to do the work that they did to enable us today to sit as presidents and prime ministers of our countries. It is because of those uh, people, that generation, and we thank them and thank them dearly. We want to also thank the SADC Secretariat for the work they've done, working with the family, working with uh, the Tanzanian government and other stakeholders to make this possible. I want to congratulate, we want to congratulate um, you know, all of those for the great achievement towards what we are about to, to witness today. This statue will be a constant reminder uh, to all of us, individual countries, uh, our regional economic blocks, as it were, or groupings, and uh, Africa, and I believe the global community uh, for the noble work that this statesman, this true son of Tanzania, son of Africa, uh, did for all of us and the global community. It is now my singular honor to unveil this statue of Dr. Julius Mwalimu Kambarage Nyerere, one of the founding fathers, as I said, of the regional body of SADC and the continental body of the African Union. Uh, may the memory of Dr. Julius Mwalimu Kambaraja Nyerere continue to live on. And I want to say, viva SADC, viva African Union, viva global peace, security, and stability for development. That's deliberate. Viva peace, I'll repeat, peace, security, and stability for development, because that's what he stood for. That's what we want to carry on. I thank you for your kind attention. Merci beaucoup. Ziko Mugwambiri, thank you very much. In Arabic. Oh, thank you. What should I say? Oh, sugar. Okay. All right. I will learn some other day. <laughs> Not today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, without any further ado, uh, may I please call upon His Excellency Musa Faki Mahamat, a chairperson of the African Union Commission, to give his statement. Your Excellency Muhammad Ul Sheikh Al Ghazwani, President of the Islamic Republic of Mauritania and the Chair of the African Union, Excellencies, Head of State, Government and Delegations, Your Excellency Samia Salihu Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. 
habari ya asubuhi it is with great pleasure that i will come you to this ceremony for one of africa's most iconic figures muallimu julius nyerere the legacy of this remarkable leader encapsulates the essence of pan africanism profound wisdom and service to africa muallimu played a key pioneering role in the establishment of the organization of african unity in 1963 a milestone event in our pursuit of african unity the journey continues at the inaugural oau summit in 1963 muallimu said and i quote our continent is one and we all and we are all africans this organization symbolizes our determination to move forward together his commitment to african unity went beyond national boundaries and national interest as reflected in his words to the tanzanian parliament in 1970 and i quote we must stand by our brothers fighting for freedom in southern africa their struggle is our struggle and their victory is our victory under his leadership tanzania became a sanctuary for liberation movements across the continent the organization of the african unity liberation Communi community committee found its headquarters in tanzania until the dismantling of the apartheid system in south africa in 1994 dar es salaam was not only a safe haven for african liberation movements but also for the palestine liberation organization plo and the latin american countries a teacher but also a peacemaker muallimu played a key role as mediator in african conflicts particularly the crisis in burundi he remained a wise statesman who gave his counsel and advice selflessly to our union until the end of his life it is therefore befitting that we honor his memory today as we rename the building to the muallimu nyerere political affairs peace and security building and we gather here and we gather here to celebrate the legacy of muallimu julius nyerere i would like to recall that the proposal for the AU peace and security building to be named after this great leader was made by none other than the late president Hage Gengo of the Republic of Namibia whose recent and timely passing has left the continent in the globe in shock may the spirit of muallimu's wisdom and humility guide the work of this building that he now stand as its protector protector for peace and security in this continent thank you very much asante sana thank you your excellency uh it is now my distinct honor and privilege uh to call upon uh her excellency um samia saluhu hassan the president of the united republic of tanzania to give her keynote address your excellency Your Excellency President of the Republic of Angola and uh, Sadek Chairperson Your Excellency President of Republic of Zambia and Chair of the Peace and Security Organ of the Sadek Excellencies Heads of State and Government Excellency Sadek Executive Secretary Honorable Ministers Distinguished Guests African history was mainly transmitted orally. However, over centuries from the Nok and Benin empires in the west to the Makonde and Azande communities in the east, statues were used to reinforce cultural identity and values and to communicate collective experiences. Today, Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere's statue 
recognizes his contribution to African liberation, unity and peace, and manifests our pride in our rich heritage. Gratitude is extended to SADC for undertaking this project and to the AU for according a place for Mwalimu statue besides other great African colossal statesmen, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie and His Excellency Kwame Nkrumah. Your Excellencies, it is not easy to sum up Mwalimu's vision and motivation. Thankfully, his own words on Tanganyika's independence instruct us about this. He said, and I quote, We have lit the independence torch to place it at the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro, to shine with, within and outside our borders, to bring hope where there is despair, love where there is hatred, and dignity where there is contempt. Like in Kruma, Mwalimu's vision and devotion for a free and peaceful Africa was unmatched. To him, Africa's well-being came first before popular approval, personal fortune or country well-being. This is evidently so, even in our national anthem, where our first prayer of prosperity is to the mother Africa and then to Tanzania. Mwalimu's <coughs> Mwalimu backed the founding of our organization and mobilized Tanzanians in support of liberation movements across the continent. Even after leaving office, his support for Africa's efforts, including for peace, remained unwavering. If we are to live in the Africa he invests, then we must know our unity and prosperity lies in our numbers. We must know none of us can have permanent prosperity without a prosperous Africa. It is true to say our uniqueness matches our interdependence and therefore complementing political liberation with economic transformation is important for our future to be secured. The uh, Continental Free Trade Agreement must play a critical role to ensure the prosperity and dignity of the African people. It is my hope that Mwalimu Kambar Julius Kambarage Nyerere's memory will inspire present and future generations to light their own torches in pursuit of hope, love, and dignity where there is none. I thank you for your kind attention. Asante San. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, the moment we have all been waiting for. I would like to call upon um, uh, the President, His Excellency João Lorenzo, he, the President of Angola, if he's here, followed by His Excellency Hakainde Hishilema, President of the Republic of uh, Zambia, and the uh, Chairperson of the SADC Organ on Politics, Defense, and Security Cooperation. Her Excellency Samia Suluhu. Uh, Hassan, President of the United Republic of Tanzania, and the incoming chairperson of the SADC Organ on Politics, Defense and Security, and uh, His Excellency uh, Elias Mahosi, uh, SADC Executive Secretary, and His Excellency Musa Faki Mahamat, the uh, chairperson of the African Union Commission, and the chairperson of the African uh, Union, uh, President of Mauritania, to please come and unveil the statue.
we please not move uh, too close? Um, can we take the group photo and ensure that there is space? Members of the media, please contain yourselves.